This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Goop Directory of Juvenile Offenders Famous for Their Misdeeds and Serving as a Salutary Example for All Virtuous Children With Pictures by Gillette Burgess Author of Goops, The Lively City Oleg, etc. 1913 Introduction In this directory you'll see just what you never ought to be, and so it should direct your way to good behavior every day. The children of whose faults I tell are known by other names as well, so see that you aren't in this group of naughty ones don't be a goop. Marmaduke Argyle Talking While Eating a goop that always makes me smile is this one, Marmaduke Argyle. His mouth is full from cheek to cheek. Why should he then attempt to speak? It makes me smile, but still the fact is, it is a most unpleasant practice. Nancy Beale, Throwing Away Things On the sidewalk, Nancy Beale throws her old banana peel, throws her apple skin in cores, right in front of people's doors. Isn't that a shocking trick? Ask that goop to stop it, quick! Master Bildad, selfish with toys. A puppy, when he gets a bone, will keep it for himself alone. So Bildad would not share his toys or lend them to the other boys. He was a goop, and so are you, if you are ever selfish too. Percy Bing, in the way. Percy Bing, when he's at play, is almost always in the way. In the room or in the street, always under people's feet. Goops like that annoy me so, you keep out the way I know. Betsy Birch, talking in church. Look at little Betsy Birch, always whispering in church, always playing with the books, never caring how she looks, never knowing goops like her. Ought to neither talk nor stir. Levi Boeing Going carelessly Are you a goop like Levi Boeing? He never looks where he is going. He's always bumping into chairs and stumbling when he goes upstairs. He tips things over, bumps his nose. He can't be careful, I suppose. Mary C.C. Call Crying continually Mary Carey Corey call. Hear her cry and hear her bawl. Hear her groan, hear her growl, hear her moan, hear her howl. She's the goopiest goop of all. Mary Carey Corey call. Little Coralie, getting feet wet. Though Coralie was small and sweet, she always, always had wet feet. She liked to walk through puddles so. She always had a cold, you know. But as you aren't a goop, you try to keep your tootsies warm and dry. Andrew Crossett, playing with faucet. Have you heard how Andrew Crossett meddled with a water faucet? Letting water flood the sink? Andrew was a goop, I think. Otherwise, he would have known. He should let such things alone. Annabella Day, obeying slowly. How slow is Annabella Day? She's so reluctant to obey. She acts so sluggish and so sickly. Oh, Anna, why not do it quickly? Oh, Anna, do be prompt and then no one will call you goop again. Gwendolyn de V. de Wit, sulking. Miss Gwendolyn de Vier de Wit is having such a sulky fit because she couldn't have her way with other children at their play. A sulky goop I really call as bad as those who cry and bawl. Adolphus Elphinstone, playing with matches. Adolphus Elphinstone of Natchez thought it was fun to play with matches until the little goop had learned it hurt a lot when he got burned. A little fire is queer and curious but soon it grows quite big and furious. 
Amanda Fish, Stealing Sweets. If there's sugar in the dish, who will take it, Mandy Fish? If there is a box of candy, just look out for little Mandy. She gives the fruit and leaves the peeling. She calls it fun, I call it stealing. Frederick Fisher, Not Eating Crusts Freddie Fisher fairly fussed when he came to eat his crust. Often on the floor he'd throw it, hoping mother wouldn't know it. Goops all hate to eat the crust. If you're told to, then you must. Ezra Hecht, Not Minding Mother What in the world would you expect of a goop whose name was Ezra Hecht? Of course he would refuse to heed or mind his mother, yes indeed. Of course he would, of course he did, but you must do what you are bid. M and B Hopper Restless while dressing Mother always is distressed if you fidget when you're dressed. If you fidget like Miss Midget, Hopper or her sister Bridget. Goops like that are so much bother that they ought to dress each other. Amanda M. James Calling Names Amanda Mind Singer James. She called her sister horrid names. She called her brother names as well. So bad I wouldn't dare to tell. It's shocking how a goop will act. They have no manners, that's a fact. Susie Klein Whining Whenever I hear a puppy whine, I always think of Susie Klein. I think of how she hangs her head. She doesn't speak, she whines instead. Don't whine. If you don't speak right out, you are a goop without a doubt. Roberto Lees Teasing Animals How thoughtless was Roberto Lees, for only thoughtless children tease. He teased the little pussycat, he teased the puppy, think of that. He even teased his sister too. I think he was a goop, don't you? Annie A. Lee Grand Lying and Fibbing The queerest goop in all the land was Annie Annabelle Lee Grand. She often said what wasn't true, which is an awful thing to do. But we are honest, you and I. We think it's wrong to tell a lie. Miss McAdoo Not answering. This is a goop, Miss McAdoo. She never speaks when spoken to. When spoken to, she turns her eyes and never answers or replies. She hangs her head and sucks her thumb. You'd think that she was deaf and dumb. Isabel McClung, Sticking Out Tongue Do you ever stick your tongue out like Isabel McClung? No one but the goop would show. Rudeness such as that, I know. If you're good, take my advice. Please don't do it. This isn't nice. Alexander B. McGiff Not Wiping Nose Young Alexander B. McGiff each day had a clean handkerchief. In spite of this, if you'll believe, he wiped his nose upon his sleeve. Nobody but a goop would do it. His mother'd scold him if she knew it. Elias E. McGuff Rough and Rude Elias Ethelbert McGuff Oh, he was rude and he was rough. He used to pinch, he used to poke, and called his rudeness just a joke. What made him plague his playmates so? He was a goop and didn't know. Solomon McKim, Scuffing Feet I wonder if you ever meet. The goop who always scuffs his feet. He makes them drag along the floor as if they weighed a ton or more. Just think of Solomon McKim, and don't be slovenly like him. John D. Pell Ordering People When John D. Pell wants something done, do you think he asks of anyone? Oh no, he orders someone to, with, get my hat, or tie my shoe. The goops all say rude things like these, but you of course say, if you please. Esau Pound, Leaving Things Around When you're finished with your play, do you put your toys away? Do 
you put away your hat and your coat and things like that? Or are you like Esau Pound? He's the goop who lives things around. Eliza Pudding Foot Cheating at Play If you should ask why Rosamund, Eliza Pudding Foot was shunned. I'd say because she'd always cheat in every game so she could beat. Only a goop would act that way and be dishonest in her play. Amelia Pratt saying I won't. I won't, says young Amelia Pratt. I won't do this. I won't do that. Now isn't won't the naughtiest word that anyone has ever heard? Now isn't that the rudest way? A goop could answer, I should say. Jumbo Ray, Snatching Toys No children ever like to play with such a goop as Jumbo Ray, for he will snatch and grab the toys of all the little girls and boys. Though Jumbo loves to fuss and fight, you know of course it isn't right. Annie F. R. Riff, Snuffling and Sniffling Annie Fanny Ruffle Riff, Hear her snuffle, hear her sniff. Hear her sniffle, hear her snuff, see her well, I've said enough. You have seen her, I suppose, the goop who seldom blows her nose. Felicia Rops, Handling Things Funny how Felicia Rops always handles things in shops. Always pinching, always poking, always feeling, always stroking things she has no right to touch. Goops like that annoy me much. Percival B. Sloop Acting Uncleanly Just look at Percival B. Sloop, a most unpleasant sort of goop. He pokes his fingers in his nose and wipes his hands upon his clothes. He does a lot of things that you, I know, would never, never do. Susie Small Blaming Others Oh, says little Susie Small, it is someone else's fault. She began it. She's to blame. She's the one that spoiled the game. So goops always blame each other. Do you own up your fault to mother? Sperry Sprooks, Daring Books Have you ever chanced to look at a torn and dirty book? At a book that's ragged, soiled, inked, and finger marked and spoiled? Who has done it? Sperry Sprooks! He's the goop that spoils the books. Uriah Stead, not going to bed. I never saw Uriah Stead when he was glad to go to bed. There always was one thing to do before he could take off a shoe. The little goop was always late. I hope you don't procrastinate. Rosie L.V. Trude, playing with food. Rosy Lily Violet Trude always messes with her food, always plays with her potatoes, meat and gravy and tomatoes. Callers who are asked to dine, knowing she's a goop decline. End of the Goop Directory